Who here has already used the, the stash command, not the stash the product? OK, so I still maybe 10%. So it's good that I show you. It's, a, it's a something that I use all the time. So it's a very useful uh, command. So git stash is a git command that allows you to do something very simple and very useful. It allows you to save the content of your current folder, all the unsaved changes, all the uh, modifications that you haven't committed yet, into a stack of changes that you can then pop from a stack whenever you want. So it's a way, it's a very fast way to save everything that you were doing uh, before and when you when you need to do something else, somebody else, something else. And uh, every item that you put on the stack has a default symbolic name that you see there, stash, at sign, and then a number. Uh, but you can also assign your own names. And this is very useful for many scenarios where, uh, let me walk you through one and, and um, let me walk you through, through one. So I'm just going to go. Uh, Um, so imagine, let me open summary, what I have here. Okay, so I have this file where um, I want to change the naming, so I was working on this. Oh, I want to add this numbering just because, and as I was working through this, I haven't committed anything yet. Um, I haven't added it to the index. I've been working on this change for a while. My boss comes to, to, to my desk and say, stop whatever you're doing. We have a production emergency on these Star Wars summaries. Uh, so imagine there's actually a real project behind this. And stop whatever you're doing. Go to the production branch. We have a, we have a security issue. Now in the old times, uh, if you use a different system, you would need to maybe copy the folder you would need to maybe, if you were really good, create a patch set um, using SVN, or you, maybe you would rely on your IDE to help out there, create a snapshot of your project. Uh, with the Git, it's as easy as typing git stash. Now, see my 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 current working directory has no changes anymore, and the content of that change has been saved on the stash. So if I type git stash list. I can see the list of temporary changes that I have saved and I can incrementally save more changes. Let's do another one. Uh, let's see. Summary. So I do another change and I also can stash it. So now if I do a list, as you can see, on the top of the stash, there's the latest change. And then we, I, am been, I have been adding on top of it. Now I can switch branch, go somewhere else, do what I need to do. And when I'm ready to resume work on that you know, unsaved piece of work, I can just do kit stash pop. And what it will do, it will replay exactly that unsaved change locally to my uh, to my folder, if, if you see, it actually has done that, and I have now added that summary. And the very first change, so if, it, if we now look at the stash, with stash list, you see there's another one that I had saved before that. I could pop out of the stash this, and that change would be added to my current working directory too. Let's see. So if I do a git diff, see I added the summary. If I do git stash pop again, uh, so now it doesn't allow me to do it because I changed that uh, uh, I changed that file. So first I could commit this change and summary, and then I add minus a, and then I can pop the the other change locally, and you can see that. Uh, this contains the other changes that I have made and that I have saved. So 
The stash is an incredibly useful. Uh, there's another thing I want to show you, and that you can give a name to to what you're saving, which is if you actually know, you're going to want to reference this stash a bit later because you're going to be saving more of them. You can actually save something on the stash with uh, you know I don't know title numbers. And now I have created uh, an item on the stash that actually has a name that I can refer to. So now you can even do diff ranges, uh, uh, diffs using this symbolic name if you want. And you can pop stuff by name if you have many things on the stash. It's a very useful uh, little tool to quickly swap to things. For example, um, you're working on something but you want to pull the latest changes. You don't want to commit your code yet. You can just save your changes onto the stash, do a pull, do a merge, and then pop your changes back from the stash. So from the, from from the stash. So that is um, an incredibly useful tool that I recommend you guys if you haven't tried it yet to try it out.